he bottomed him out for sure. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day. We're finally back in the field. We had a big rain over the weekend, but now looks like we've got more rain on the way. Oops, left the door open. So anyway, what I'm doing is spreading fertilizer on our cotton. This field that I'm at now was where we had oats, so it's kind of our later planting cotton. So we're jumping out here, spreading fertilizer. Kyle should be on the way with the other spreader buggy so we can tag team it because we've got more fertilizer to spread. We're running out of time. We've maybe been in the field maybe three days in the past two weeks so anyway yeah appreciate you guys watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already like the video let's get started <laughs> Been giving me a fit, got moisture in it, so it's sticking to the side. Vibrate! I don't like the look of that cloud. Wow, there's lightning. All right, she's loaded up. Cross my fingers, it doesn't rain. So aggravating because even with fertilizer, let's say if it rains just a little bit, if it wets the leaves, I'm done because the fertilizer will stick to the leaves and then it burns the plant. So, pretty much any amount of rain is going to shut me down until the cotton dries out and I better roll up my windows on my truck in case the bottom does fall out and we're off cotton looks pretty good so it's not very tall but it's some of the younger cotton that we planted behind the oats uh, very little weeds we've already sprayed it once with extended max roundup I think we put some um, macho max metacloprid metacloprid out here for our thrip so everything's looking good Hopefully it doesn't rain. Oh wow, so we're kind of right there with all that rain headed to us. Sprinkling. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and tarp it now. Woo, yep, there's the rain. Yeah, it. First time using this. That knocked me out for today. Let's make sure our tarp's tarped all the way. Hopefully that'll hold it. Dang it! Can't get nothing done. Sun shining though. Might see a rainbow. Maybe. So aggravating. You know, the life of a farmer, you're either praying for rain, you really need rain really bad, you're dry, you're about to burn up, or you really don't need any rain. Hey there, Field Rose. We're out here where we're going to spread, or I was going to spread fertilizer. Jim was already spreading fertilizer. You can see them out there. It's coming back to base now. As you can see, the rain rained us out. Just about missed us, as you can see. You got dark and you got light. But luckily, I have nothing in my buggy. There goes another one. A lot of rain. Hey, Kyle. Looks like a tornado's about to touch down. But you look this way, doesn't look too bad. So, might not even be raining at the barn. I'm not sure. Perfect. We have been running this buggy, uh, putting out gypsum on our peanuts, which we're done with that. So now we're just focusing on cotton fertilizer. All right, we're back at the barn and looks like it hasn't even rained here. So I guess Kyle, you want to hit the uh, nitrogen rig and start putting out nitrogen at Beavis. Wait up, let's just take a quick break and I want to wish somebody a happy birthday and you guys want to help me out so ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Cameron! Hope you have a great day and uh, yeah thanks so much for uh, watching all the videos. We're glad you're a fan and hope you have a fantastic day. All right let's get back to the video. That's right it's Kyle this time spreading or putting out nitrogen not spreading. I'm doing good. Jim was just over here with the, the drone. Where'd he go? Where's your drone? All right, plans have changed. We didn't get any rain by the barn, so I'm actually headed back to the spreader buggy. I'm gonna grab it, come to the field that Kyle's putting out nitrogen. Goodness gracious, these dirt roads. Dryers are so loud. If you've never yes. been around a peanut dryer, like one of my <sighs> earliest memories, oh, wow, way louder than that. But uh, one of my earliest memories was being a little kid with dad. At the, we had the pink. Such a good podcast. All right, well, I got to move 
or not move. I've got to turn off this pivot here real quick. You're probably thinking, pivot, why are you running a pivot when you've been getting tons of rain? Well, we're putting out nitrogen on this young cotton and uh, it's about to run out of nitrogen, so we don't want it to do that. Let's get back in the tractor. Whew, put that Field Rose podcast back on. And unfortunately, it is sprinkling now, so I'm not even gonna be able to spread fertilizer here. As you can tell, the leaves are soaking wet. Let me give you the camera. Well, y'all, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, normally, this right here on the sprayer will be a no no. Normally, if that windshield wiper's going, you don't be spraying. Look out between a rock and a hard place. A couple of these fields, we ain't got no choice. We're gonna try to get something on it. Knock these weeds down, we ain't gonna stand a chance of having these docks. It starts raining, you don't stop. That's the kind of stuff that normally gets you fired. All right, guys, well, it's the next day. I went ahead and drove this spreader buggy here to where I was yesterday so we can tag team this field. But unfortunately, on our tender here, we went to uh, start getting fertilizer out, and you can tell we have a massive hydraulic blowout. What we're gonna do now is take both spreader buggies back to the field where the other tender is and start spreading fertilizer there. Okay, we got them loaded up, took forever, man. When this fertilizer sits for a while, which this tender's been here for about a week, we just haven't been able to get in the field because of all the rain, that nitrogen gets hard as a rock. And you hate to do it, but the only way to get it is just get them hammers started beating. But we got them loaded up, so we're gonna head in the field now and start spreading. It's clouding up pretty good behind me. Hopefully it doesn't rain, we get something done today. Oh, well, cotton looks really good right here, but as you can tell, you can just about draw a line and then it just, Boom! Falls out, color turns yellow, and it drops about a foot in height. Mayday! Mayday! Just got off the phone with Kyle. He said that he's stuck. So, keefe has got the 8430. We're gonna bring it here and hopefully get him pulled out without uh, breaking anything. Right on the edge. Living on the edge. Yeah, you are. Ooh. What we can probably do is snatch it out and go that way with it. With our handy dandy strap. How many how, how long is it? 30 feet. I got that chain too, so. Man, oh man, Kyle, Kyle. Well, my first stuck pretty bad. First first time ever sticking a tractor? I think so here. Oh, whoa. Whoa! That oh, ain't too bad. Not on that side. Oh yeah, it's pretty good right there. Oh, these got the tow hooks. Heck no. Woo! Yeah, you bottomed them out for sure. Oh. So give me a rundown. What happened? Play by play. Well, I was coming up, and I was like, I know it's not, I know it's sticky around the water, but I mean, like I said, I came up to it and started sinking just a little bit, yep. and I stopped, and I reversed, and it was just, it just started spinning. Oh, you were done at that point. Let's see how much we got in the buggy. Not very much. No? You could maybe make it, you probably make it back to the head drive. Okay, so it's pretty much empty? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you practically completely out. That's good news. Roll out the old anaconda. Brand new tow rope. In the past, we've always used chains if we ever got stuck. So now we're trying to be a little bit safer. Were you TikToking? No, you're not I a TikToker. <laughs> Almost there, what you did. I bailed. Yeah. Think I backed up. Yeah, I was close. I backed up. Damn. I like the dirt there, right there. You cut it close yourself. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Well, see where the front tires are. Yeah. The majority of the mess was made coming back out of it. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Come here and let's see what you think the best place to hook it is. I'm thinking right here in the middle. Think about right there. Hold that? Yeah. Uh, I can go around that right there somehow. But that, we, that big strap, we ain't really got no way to hook it to the truck. Mm. You can loop it back through itself on one end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you really need that big clevis. I got the clevis. You got That's the what Kyle's clevis? going to get now, yeah. Okay, we'll just feed yeah. it through itself on this. You ain't afraid we'll rip the weights off? We did that one year. Yeah, I can't call for do nothing. If I do, he's going to put it on there and make it go. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that one track is going to do it. That ain't gonna go. If you pull it out, I'll be shocked. 84. Or is this the 82? Ah, dang. No, it's 84. 84. Yeah, 8430. I'll still be shocked. Yeah. So you wanna put it in there? Yeah, we'll put it to. That ain't gonna go. We should be alright. I th think it's gonna have enough owner. Alright, good luck. Moment of truth. We're gonna see what she's gonna do. Not sure if one tractor is going to get it. We might have to unhook another spreader buggy and uh, try it with two. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got this. We got this. tracks there wow we did it good job keepy yeah. got him out yeah he may have got it stuck but uh at least he knew when to stop yeah a lot of them would just sit there and dig and dig and dig yeah yeah and then you got an all-day mess oh yeah at least when he realized it was too it was time to stop he should go ahead and quit, quit before you make a big mess that's worth its weight in gold right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I, I can't going say there. nothing, though, because I like to do the same thing yesterday. You seen my tracks. Oh, yeah. Well, I like to did it Friday. I, so. ba I backed up went around it, but yep. even a little closer to the hole than I was. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to think of who was the last person that got stuck on this farm. On this farm? Mm hmm I think his name rhymes with Smeefy. Oh, my. She is stuck. Good God, have mighty. Well, I'm probably gonna get fired from this job too. I ain't never been stuck out here. Not here. I got stuck by your house. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's, I think that's the last tractor we got stuck. All right, yeah. guys, well, guess that's gonna be the end of the video. We got the tractor out. Now we're gonna go finish spreading this fertilizer. But appreciate you guys watching the video and uh, Jesus loves you. Keep in the field rows. See you next time, bye. <laughs>